Before we start the tutorials on making cabinets, there are a few tips and tricks and techniques we want to cover uh, to get you up to speed to make life easier when you do the tutorials. First of all, we're going to be uh, creating a job setup that's going to be the cutting area for a desktop max, 36 by 24. Plywood's going to be 0.7 inches thick. X, Y, data input position, lower left hand corner. So let's try a few things that you're going to need to be able to do with this. Uh, projects that we're going to be uh, designing in uh, VCar Pro. First of all, uh, to copy, we could use uh, the right click and we could uh, uh, copy right here and we could paste. But the shortcut key is right here to the right, our Control C and Control V. Much easier to do than using the mouse. Also, when you right click on the mouse, you can see some options. Undo, you make any mistake, Control Z. To redo, Control Y. So those four keys, keys Control Z, Control Y, Control C, and Control V, are something that you're going to be using all the time when you're using VCAR Pro. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to Control C to copy, and I'm going to Control V to paste five times. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll notice, as soon as I started copying, that dotted line changed to what? A solid line that has uh, both uh, a pink and black in it. And notice I've zoomed in by using the scroll button on the mouse to get back, uh, to have everything in the viewing uh, area, F to fit. Just remember that, F to fit. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna transform the, and we're set the, a new object in size. A lot of times it's easier to create, for example, a rectangle and then copy, paste, and then resize than trying to create uh, new rectangles every time. Now, notice that we have different anchor points all around there. And uh, let's see, uh, okay, let's say let's change, we're going to change the size of this to, let's say, three inches. Whoops. Uh oh. What happened? Did I want that? No, I wanted three and three, not three, but uh, 2.149. So we're going to try that again. Click on here, go back into here. This time before we start, take off that link. And all the cabinet making tutorials that we're going to be doing. Make sure that link X, Y is taken off because we're going to be adjusting them usually independent. So we're going to create uh, a two inch by two inch square. And notice what happens. And notice where my anchor is. There we go. Click over here. And we're going to stay in that same area. And let's do this one 2.5. By 2.5. Apply. Notice our different sizes there. Uh, let's go over here. And let's go 3 by 3 on this one. Apply. And then we'll go over here. This anchor point. Notice how it's no notice how things are taking shape. And we'll go here 2 by 2 again. Apply. Now notice right here, uh, if I click on this, you see the dotted pink, and here we have a solid pink with black dots. Now, a lot of times when you're doing a project design, you do not want to have layers on top of each other. Well, in this process, you are going to be creating those and, and transforming them. So don't Sometimes they can be good, sometimes they can be bad. So we're going to close this right now, not close this right now. We're going to fit by pressing F, okay. And notice I, cl I click, oh, there's still one more that we want to do. I'm going to go Control C to copy, Control V to paste, okay. Notice how it changed colors. This time I'm going into the center, and I'm going to do a 
3.5 by, go back here, let's go 3.5, tab key over here, 3.5. And apply and notice where it is it goes right in right into the center so in all the in all the trainings when we do the anchors it's going to be one of those five options you're going to be doing okay so I'm going to delete this right here and close this so let's say I wanted to put this rectangle perfectly inside of this rectangle and there's a way to do that now in all the training what you're going to want to do where it says transfer objects there's this one right here it says align selected objects one of the things first things you're going to want to do is click on that go way to the bottom and it says show common tools on drawing tab like that and click close now notice all all those drawing tab objects are now aligned tab objects are right there and a lot easier to get to rather than doing a two-step process okay so when you want to center something you hold the shift key down you select the first object select the second object this will go inside of this if we go down here where we say center objects okay now remember control Z and control Y, hit control Z, put that back. Okay. Now let's say I click this first and click this one over here. Try the same thing. And there it's going to move the other way. Control Z. Now let's say I wanted to have all these together moved around. Okay. And then hold this as shift key down, hold this smaller one, and then I hit this one right here. Oh my goodness, what happened? Control Z to undo. Well, in order to keep those where they're at right now, I need to select them all, and then we're gonna need to group. You're gonna be grouping and ungrouping objects throughout your uh, career using VCAR Pro. G to group. Watch how the color changes. Okay, solid. And then to ungroup, you just press the U key. G to group, U to ungroup. Okay, does it make sense? So we're going to group that. Now we're going to hold the smaller rectangle. We're going to come over here and we're going to center object. Okay. And they're all together. Notice how they didn't all collapse. Now, let's say I want to put everything in the center of the material. We would go right over there, center in the material, and there it is. Move any place right here, move that over to the side, center in materials, perfect. Okay, so we're going to close that. Okay, and we're going to go back over here and we're going to do some group lines right here. And so let's say I wanted to, these are, these are, are going to be shelf pin holes, for example, and these are two shelves. And let's say I wanted to center them between these two right here. So let's say I selected these, held my shift key down, and okay, I want to center it between those. And then we're going to center that. Oh my goodness, look what happened. What are we going to do to undo? Control Z to undo. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to group those two objects. Select those, G to group. Delete what we just did here. Well, this is a good example. What happened? Why this happened is because I kept it at rectangle size rather than group a line. So I'm going to control Z, undo hopefully, no, nope. that won't let me do it. I'm going to click on this, 
And this is probably in the rectangle, let's say I put a group of line, they're disappeared. That's where I want rectangle. There we go. And so I'm going to keep this in rec rectangles. Uh, I think get that off. I'm going to put group of line here. Okay, now we're good to go. So I'm going to click right here. Select those. G to group this time. Hold the shift key down for both of those. G to group there. Now click into any white space to deselect. Click on these. I group them together. Ungroup because I held the shift key down and I still had those selected. So we're back here. Hold this down. This one. G to group. Okay, now hit any place, white space to deselect. Going to select that. Hold the shift key down. And now we're going to see if we align that. And perfect. That's the word perfect. So I'm going to go and control Z to undo some of our stuff that we did. Very good. There's, they've been unselected. U to un ungroup. Okay, now let's say I wanted to select those. Notice I Put a rectangle around that, and I went with my mouse button from my left mouse button from left to right. But let's say uh, you we just wanted to hit these rather than trying to and, and avoid hitting those. I just wanted to group those. And let's say we had a lot of those. Let's say Control C to copy. In fact, Control C to copy. Control V to paste, and then we're going to move that out. Then we're going to use another tool called Mirror Image. Go over here. Select this one right here. And go back into our Mirror Image right there. And then go create a mirror copy. There we go. So let's say I wanted to select all those ones without selecting these. Well, what I would do, instead of having to hold my Shift key down and individually just trying to hit all those lines, which sometimes can be hard, if I start from the right to the left and draw, for example, a little rectangle right there through them, they're all selected. Okay, so if I want to select everything, I draw a recto rectangle around everything. But here I got those selected, I don't want those. So if I go from right to left, there you go. Okay, so we've got the group aligned there. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the shift mouse layer right there. And notice right here, I can we can move this around at different spots. But let's say I wanted to center it in the material. I could click it right there. But let's say I wanted to resize this. And I wanted to keep it just exactly where it is at. So if I hold the shift key down and get one of these handles right there, see how this? It stays in one place. Now if I took the shift key off and I moved it, look what happens. And moves to the side over here moves down to this side so i want to go back to center it okay and get my shift key holding that down and now anytime i stretch it and resize it it works perfectly now let's say i wanted to go control c to copy control v to paste click that again and then hold the shift key down Perfect. Let's say I wanted to uh, making a home plate, home run, and there we go. There we go. Okay, so it's, it, it's that easy. So again, it's the shift, and you, you click it with the mouse, left my uh, left mouse button, and then click it twice. Get that up there, holding the shift key. There we go. There we go. Hold the shift key down now, and then we can move it again, and it stays. Uh, Moves this there. Now let's say I move this over to the side. Over here. If I do the same thing over there, it's going to stay in that same position. This will be the center, and it's going to just size it right there. And those are just a few of the different techniques that you're going to be using uh, in building cabinets. Now, when you get into building cabinets, uh, you're, you can vary, make variations of how 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 they're designed and we'll, we'll look at that uh, in in the next one thank you very much